Salutations gaming enthusiasts, George Mario Nerd here, and join me in the garden for one last time as we clear it up. We're gonna... Oh no wait, not one last time because I've got purple coins after all this. But anyway, um, we're gonna do some miscellaneous stars today. There's probably gonna be uh, some comets, or at least one in the Dreadnought Galaxy. Hey, that patch of flowers disappears when I move to the right. See? Uh, yeah. Now you see him. Now you don't. Now you see him. No, you don't. But anyway, let's finish off the garden for the time being. Then it'll be the Trial Galaxies, and then it will be Bowser. So the Let's Play will be kind of sort of over, but not really because there are still purple comets. Let's go! Let's have a go at the Gravity Shenanigany Box Planet level thing. I don't remember how to get to. Weehee! I don't remember how to get to it, so this might be a bit challenging. You don't scare me, angry pink blobs. And there were a whole swarm of them around me and they couldn't even hit me. How pathetic is that? Here we go, there's the ominous music we all know and love. Marvellous. Where do I go? I'm not sure. I really thought that it was somewhere up here. And I can get up there. I can. And all the star bits and whatnot are still here. Ooh, a gap. Ooh. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, I can go through there! I'm discovering all sorts of new things today, aren't I? I do like the music in this galaxy, it's just serene and creepy. I've, I've basically used that description for this music so many times so far, it's lost all meaning. Right, um, maybe somewhere up on one of those bits over there. Ooh, a pipe! That's promising. The pipe is very promising, but how do I make it to said pipe? Oh, 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 dang it. I almost made it that time. That's convinced me it's definitely possible. But I feel like this is, this is just so awkward to accomplish that this can't possibly be the right way I'm supposed to do it. Oh, made it! Am I good or am I better than good? Hmm. Oh no, I've changed my mind. I'm not good at the game. I'll do that first try that time. Marvelous. And yes, I'm up here now. I feel like I'm not where I'm meant to be, but there's something impressive about that, methinks. Right. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Hiya. Hiya again. And where does this pipe lead me? This is an extra area, is it not? I think this is an extra area. Ooh. Music notes. I think I've screwed up. I shouldn't have gotten rid of all those blocks. <laughs> I should have gotten the bottom one first. No, I'm a buffoon. Well, I think I was right. I'm not supposed to be here. This isn't the way. But how does one get to that? Where is that? The, the, the QB planet over there. How does one get to it? Take the leap of faith. Doesn't always work. I don't know. Shiny treasure chest. I think that's got a one up in it, but I might as well just not leave any possibility unex unexplored. I don't know. I might have to go and consult Super Mario Wiki about this one. How am I supposed to get there? I have confusion. Is it up a tree? Do I go up a tree? Because if it is, that was not clear. Don't see anything on these trees but disappointment. Okay. I really wish it hadn't come to this, but I'm copy now. It's time for Super Mario Wiki to tell me what to do. 
Thank you, Super Night Wiki. I wouldn't have thought of that myself. I had no idea. Okay, so apparently I need to progress with the level as normal and go to the bottom of the underwater cave. So I went through all of that shenanigans with the going over the cliffs and stuff and having an explore for no reason. I should have just done this. I don't see all that as a waste of time. I had a fun explore. A nice explore session. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I need to blow up some mines. It was very unclear that that was what I had to do. I remember having loads of trouble trying to find this star as a kid as well. Like, this was the last secret star I ever got because I had no idea what to do for it. Like, who would just discover this by themselves? They had to blow up these mines. Like, it's just like, it's like they're just some random set piece. It's just like they're just enemies just hanging around. I don't have any significance. I never would have thought of this myself. Here we go. Woo. Okay, so this is cool. We've got rain indoors. It's coming from nowhere. It's got spoopy music going on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's water on the ceiling. It's not coming from nowhere. Oh yeah, and this is cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, we've got to guide the boo to the light or something. Avoid the bubble doobery and not let it take me away and spin the thingy, but not land on the spiky urchin boy. Oh dear, um, and this is at such an awkward angle that it's very difficult for me to work it properly, so I guess I need the bubble. Um, it'll help me out. Go! Thank you, bubble. I shouldn't have been avoiding you. What's this? Okay, that's a pothole with light in it. Come over here, boo. You'll be fine. It's weird how they made these urchin thingies equally fluffy and spiky looking. Now I feel like setting the extra challenge for myself to reach that star from this side with this gravity orientation. It can be done! Well that took a long time. And this is only the first star of the video. This is supposed to be a video with lots of stars in it, so I've got a lot of ground to make up. Ooh. Alright, time for the star gaining lightning round. Whoosh! Alright then. We've got the lava spider the devil level run. Oh, and this! The level isn't treating me like a child, a baby, baby. Bad at the game, baby, baby child. Because it's making me do the whole level rather than just the last bit. Fantastic. Thank you, level, for not patronizing my ability at your game. Well, it should be hard at the moment, anyway. Woohoo! I'm not gonna get burned one single time. I'm so good at the game. Ow! We No, that didn't that didn't happen, did it? No, no, no. This is my first attempt. Yes, this is my first attempt. I haven't attempted before this. This is the first go, and I'm gonna do it flawlessly without any failure or pain. It's gonna be smooth sailing and happy times. Okay, gotta take it easy now. Wait for the fire to go by so you don't get burned. Be patient. Whoa. I feel like we're at the very end of the game and it's finally treating me to a proper daredevil level. The rest of them have all been on baby mode. But does it have checkpoints in it? If I die, will I respawn further on where I, nearby where I died? I'm not sure. I should probably be very wary of these fiery boys just in case. Disarm the fiery boys! Although they they don't have arms. Oh no, Mios! Okay, there are no checkpoints. But of course, what I don't, I know it. I don't know that yet. I don't know if there aren't any checkpoints because this is my first attempt. First attempts only come around three times, you know. Oh, yes. One criticism. 
one criticism about Super Mario Galaxy is that it stays rather very easy throughout most of it. Like, there's plenty of really interesting, very entertaining levels. It's a good game the whole way through, but it only gets difficult at the last dome, I would say. Perhaps that is because I am simply a seasoned Mario player who has been playing Super Mario Galaxy most of my life, but it does stay quite easy most of the way through, I'd say. I didn't have a lot of trouble with most of it as a kid, even. What if I just tried to go faster than the fire is? That would probably be very foolish, but it's working out just fine. Maybe foolishness is the real key to beating this level. If only foolishness was the key to succeeding at life, then it'd be said. Ha ha ha, self-deprecating joke, please laugh. Oh, dang it! I've taken the checkpoints for granted this whole game. Now I really want them because I don't like going through all this over and over again. <laughs> But, then again, I was asking for harder levels and have been provided with one, so I should stop whinging. Probably wouldn't be whinging as much if I hadn't just gone through a really long level. I've got limited space on my USB, please don't take too long to beat. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Why am I so stupid? I will carry on, and I will keep on going until I have succeeded. I shall not be defeated by this level. I'm good at the game! Taste, have a taste of my goodness. <laughs> Why am I so bad at the game? <laughs> I slammed my face into the smallest wall ever. I think it's actually it's fairly safe to say that this is the hardest level I've come across in this playthrough so far. Strangely, the only other one that I remember as being particularly difficult was actually um, the thing. You know, that uh, the, the Sling Pod Galaxy, that one. That one was actually quite difficult. The sling Pods are hard to aim properly. Wow! Dang it. Stupid blobules of lava and death. I will not give up! I will not stop playing with confidence, even when it is far from warranted. This seems like one of those bits in the video where I need to put a death counter on the screen. You know, one of those cliche little ding noises that <laughs> happen every time I die. No, 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 uh, really, really choking here. I can't believe how badly I'm choking. Hope one of you knows the Heimlich manoeuvre because I've got bad video game skills lodged in the throat. Whoa. Don't let Mario drift and fall away and get sucked towards the big pink expanse of lava and death. Go to the frigging launch star! There we go. <sighs> as difficult as this level is, it still looks incredible. Like, look at how epic this flyby is. I love it. I'm gonna get rid of these fiery boys as I go. I'm not gonna let them get in the way of my victory! Be gone, fiery boys! Hiya! Don't get hit by the steam. Steam is more dangerous than this. No! Fiery boys! No! Ugh. I hope you find my suffering amusing. No, really, I do. Please subscribe. Subscribe for more suffering! Oh, da, da. I, uh, I looked away for a second and I was too slow and I got burned by the freaking steam. Uh, imagine just like putting your face above a pan of boiling hot water that you're going to make some pasta in or something, and because the steam touched your face, you're now dead. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, Bowser is far easier than this level. Honestly, I bet I'm going to have less trouble with the Trial Galaxies than this level. Trial Galaxies are going to be in the next video, by the way. 
So subscribe for that too. Subscribe to everything. Everything that I do is a valid reason for you to subscribe. Just pick one. Whoa. Whoa, no! Dang it! I need to... Uh, need to not let him drift along. I need to... Uh, uh, oh, oh. I think I should stop and smell the star bits so that I can collect one-ups as I go. Because if I get one-ups then I will not get a game over. And I won't have to work my way all the way back to the garden. Alright, this is going to be it. This is going to be the attempt that I win the level on. <laughs> I need to stop slamming my face into things. That would probably help. Dang it. No, no, no. Oh! Uh, I'm going to wait now. Oh, don't let him drift. Stop letting him drift so much, George. I'm being too cocky. No, 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 little fiery boy did not go out. I need the fiery boys to go out when I spin them. And them to not be threatening and for me to not die or get distracted. Wait patiently for the steam to subside. Don't get hit by the fiery boys. Be constantly aware of where they are. Here is the last star chip. Don't choke. Okay, there's the launch star. Just a short walk over there, and don't walk off the edge into the lava while the cutscene is playing out. Okay, I'm making it further. Last bit. Here we go. I'm gonna make it. It's gonna happen. This is the one. No pressure. Boy, I could do with a red star right about now. Don't you dare, little fiery boy. Naughty little fiery boy. Oh, jammy dodger boulders, jammy dodger boulders. Watch out for their jamminess and their equally as threatening boulderiness. Oh no, the alarm's going quick now. Oh! This is like probably the easiest bit of the level, and it's the last bit. It's a very cool set piece, though, gotta say. Oh. But it's probably the easiest bit to choke on because, you know, this is the last bit. Okay, I can't do my normal trick of, like, waiting for the lava to come and burn my ass to get the star. So I'm just gonna get the star normally. Okay, hardest bit of the level. Press the A button. I am so good at the game. First try. Alright, so I know where this is, so we're not going to spend forever searching for where the secret star is. We just need lots of star bits for the hungry Luma that's up on the next planet over there. And I can get hit without dying immediately, so that's good. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Can't believe how difficult that level was. I figured that if it was that difficult, I probably would have remembered it better. But no, I don't. I didn't even remember what comet this galaxy had. I had no idea. Uh, I practiced this quite a lot last level, so I should be a master at getting these targets now. And I've got. Oh, fantastic. Over 100. You need 70, do you? Do you? 80, I was wrong, but I've still got enough. I have no idea what planet this is, so I guess we'll just wait until our friend becomes it. Is that, isn't that a boring existence, becoming a planet? Is that a boring existence? I don't know. Perhaps it depends what planet you are. You know, if I was a hungry Luma in the Melty Molten Galaxy and I was going to become a planet, I'd, like, become an ice planet or something teeming with green and life just to really confuse the heck out of anybody who came along and thought, why is that planet there? Why is everything else here lava and death, but over there there's shrubs and trees and grass and everything? I'd want to confuse any space explorer that came along. That would be the satisfaction I would gain out of living my life as a planet. I suppose, no, it's got, an, it's got a neat gimmick to it, hasn't it? We've got pathways um, coming, uh, uh, being revealed underneath the lava and stuff, and 
watch out for larvary boys and they're very easy to fall back into the lava so better keep your eye out oh dear I'm about to die again oh dear oh dear okay 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 oh uh, ground there we go <sighs> silver stars looks like I put myself in another daredevil run <laughs> no I'm not jumping on the top of that I want to live no thanks I choose life Oh no, oh no, it's coming back, it's coming back! Oh no, oh, that's de lava! Oh, steam! Oh, uh. okay, okay, okay. There's one more. Is this the last one? No, there's five, aren't there? I, I, I had five, I had four. Okay. It's a cool shot, got the blue, blue boys over there. Alrighty, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! in general. I just want to get an easy star. Come on, let me just get the star. Why are you so cruel? Watch out for the blue fiery boys. But are blue for some unknown reason. You would not associate fire and hotness with blue, but blue they are. And now it's time to get this star with no further complication or difficulty. Yay! Where is it? It's over there. Marvelous. Way! I win! Oh, this is such a long episode. It's going to be a nightmare to edit. I'll try and make it a lot shorter than it actually is. I've probably been doing this for like an hour now. <laughs> Avenge of the Topman tribe. They're pretty pissed off with Mario for blowing up Battle Rock or something. This looks like a side quest pipe with like musical notes or something in it. Oh, and these little bouncy boys don't seem to want me in there anyway. So, oh, yeah, you see, they, you see, they look pretty tough. I, I'd better do what the little bouncy boys want me to. So, away I go. No pipe today. Uh, I've got to spin this spinny guy into these happy things and not get bumped by him myself. Stop being unpredictable. Get zapped. I don't see what the purpose of achieving freedom is when you're going to turn into a launch star. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I guess I just don't understand the Loomers and their, uh, their motivations. Of just turning into things like they just become objects. What sort of a life is that? Whatever. Okie dokie, time to get off this metal, metallic cigar and progress through the dreadnought. While avoiding cannonballs of death and doom and not just. not just doing that. No. Time it right. Do well at the game. I am tired of being so pathetic. I... No, no, I must... No, not be pathetic. Okay, fine. Just this once, I'm gonna go for the life room. I'm sick of this. I want to not die. No, stop getting hit by stuff. I order you. It's not allowed. Not allowed. No, no, no. Getting hit by stuff allowed. Stop. What What was I even hit by then? Okay. I managed to make my way through there. It wasn't glamorous, but I did it. There are many chests. None of which I can be bothered to open. And I didn't think I would say this, but I want the, I want the live shroom. Give me the mushroom. Um... Mario was just having small seizure on top of that platform. <laughs> Alright, time for an easy victory. Saying that will either make me look really good at the game for fulfilling it, or it will be played off for laughs when I fail to do it. Either way, the video is improved. So, please feel free to applaud me now because it's the former. Right, time to... oh no. 
Today's the day for annoying levels, isn't it? I've got to tackle my arch nemesis in Super Mario Galaxy. And that's the explode all the trash levels. It's a very simple concept. It's very unfun in execution. Let's just get it over with. Oh no, where, where, where could it be? Is it in this pipe maybe? It is! Okay, it's not difficult to get to at least. That's a positive. Alright, you're angry about trash. Okay, ammo depot. So, does that mean that this, um, what they're called again, I keep on forgetting their names, uh, whatever, robot person, does that mean that this robot person is working for the Topman tribe then, because it seems like they're in charge of the Dreadnought, I don't know. <clears throat> Gee, thanks. <sighs> Let's do this, it's gonna be first try, I'm not gonna fail even a little bit, cause I am amazing at this, I'm just so good, failing is not even within my ability, uh, and I got that wrong like several times, and uh, these aren't blown up yet, so uh, I think I've already failed, and it's already hopeless, 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 and miserable, that's what this level is. Well, at least I know that I, I have to throw the bombs at the little yellow dots. I didn't know that as a kid. Sure wish I did. Would have saved me a lot of suffering. <sighs> do I want to blow up all this trash for you? Do I heck? I do not want to blow all this trash up for you. I'd be doing I'd rather be doing almost literally anything else, but I have to! I have to, because I'm getting all the stars, so I've got to do this and put myself through it again. Uh, no, come back, no, I missed it. No, there's gonna be, no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, blow up faster. Dang it! <laughs> I just got to do it perfectly. I have to have perfect timing and get the bomb as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> like this, this is a huge warship. Can't they just use a bigger bomb? Surely they have bigger bombs. <sighs> I despise this level. It makes me so mad. You need so much precision. It is very annoying. I wish I knew more rhymes and was better at making up songs on the spot, but I'm not. I don't like this. This is very unpleasant. I'm not having fun at all. This sucks, and that one pile of trash isn't going to blow up! <laughs> okay, I need to do this absolutely optimally, or I've already failed. I've already failed! I've already failed! Can't I just blow all of it up now before the time limit begins? This seems so stupid and arbitrary! Easily the least fun bit of the whole game. If I had like half a second longer it would have worked! Why have I got to do it faster? Why is that a necessity? Can't we just ship all this trash to the space junk galaxy? Isn't that what it's for? If I could act, yeah, if I could get bombs to blow the other bombs up, then I can speed up the process a little bit, I guess. Blow, explode! Those bomb bombs take so long to blow up! Oh, I missed that pile again. That pile's always getting missed, and it, it's that specific pile that always screws everything up. Now I don't have enough time again! a miserable farce and I hate it. Okay, yeah. I think that I missed it again. Yes, I did. I freaking did. I missed it again. Oh well, time to go commit fall off the edge with an explosive in my hands. Seems like a more productive use of my time than blowing up this trash. Maybe it's gonna be the run that does it. Oh, and you know, I think they actually make this kind of level again in Super Mario Galaxy 2! In the right side down galaxy, I think. Oh no, that's not right. Oh no, it's not going to get that one in the corner. It didn't matter because I ran out of time again. I feel like I did that one perfectly. How could I have done it faster? 
I've missed that one in the corner again, haven't I? I have! Of course I have! And I'm running into the bomb dispenser rather than picking up the bomb. I detest this with every fibre of my being. I think I missed that corner one now. Existence is pain! Oh, I missed that one over there! I missed that one over there! And they didn't even blow up in time, so it doesn't matter. It never matters. If failing this task made you lose a life each time, this level would be absolutely unforgivable. This, this is the revenge of the Topman tribe. This, it wasn't, it wasn't fighting Top Maniac that was the revenge. It wasn't. Top Maniac was a pushover. This is the excellent and cruel and unusual punishment that they have devised for Mario as their final revenge. Not killing him, but making him suffer this miserable ordeal for the rest of his life. So much suffering that he wants to use the bombs to blow himself up instead of the trash. That is their final victory. This is exactly how I wanted to spend my afternoon. That one in the corner. I missed that one in the corner. I missed one in the corner. I missed one in the corner again. That Melty Molten Galaxy level was so much more fun than this. It was difficult. But it was a real level that actually made me feel things other than rage and despair. I wonder what happens when I throw this bob on at the robot that's been making me go through all this torment. Please die. Please die. Please die. It didn't die. Why? I jumped and spun! It did nothing. That bomb blew up right on his head and didn't even cause a scratch. He's an indestructible torture robot. Please explode quickly. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, the suffering is finally at an end! Oh! So there's there's um, there's a I think there's a dead I will comet in this galaxy as well. I will gladly do it. I will gladly do any level besides from that one. Give me ten. Give give me ten Luigi's purple coin levels, please. Game. I would like to do that. Thank you very much. No, it's a speedy comet. Speedy comet, even easier. I'm about to show you the speediest comet you've ever seen in your whole life. That's how it's done. Finally. 
Finally, at last and long, long last, the episode is at an end, and I am really, really glad. Okay, it's finally done. I hope you enjoyed this video, because I certainly didn't. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, because I, I so deserve it after all that suffering. Leave me a like, and until next time, a hearty farewell to you all.